Greetings and welcome to another video in our series about voice attack, the Elite VA bugging and Elite Dangerous. In this episode, we're going to look at two commands which we can use to refuel the SRV. They both do the same thing, but in just slightly different ways. However, before we get into the video, remember to press the like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you have any thoughts or suggestions, drop a comment below. So let's have a look at the commands themselves. We go into the profile. As I say, we've got two commands. One does it via the modules, and one does it via the synthesis menu on the inventory tab. For the refuel commands to work, we need to be in the SRV view and not the camera mode or turret mode. This command here allows us to track whether we're in the camera mode or not, because the game doesn't do any that tracking. We'll look at this one first and then we'll go into the SRV commands. I can activate this command by voice, key press, or a button on my HOTAS in this case. You can change it around however you want, but that's how I've got my setup. The first thing we need to check is can we enter the camera mode? If we're in the galaxy map, system map, or the turret mode, for example, we can't go into the camera mode. If that's okay, we continue. We then press the key to enter the camera mode. We then need to toggle the camera swapped variable. Now by default, it will be false. So when we first go into the camera mode, it will toggle it to true. When we exit the camera mode, it will toggle it to false. And then this little bit here is purely for me, but I've included it anyway. When I go into the camera mode in the ship or the SRV, I prefer the camera view to be looking from behind. And when I get out on foot, I prefer it to be looking over my shoulder. If you don't want that to change, you can ignore that bit or you can change it to whichever camera position you prefer. It's just a personal thing. And then we've got reset camera. So if you ever get out of sync with the camera view and the camera tracking variable, make sure you're in the, the normal view, they reset camera and it will set it to false. So let's have a look at the commands themselves. This is the module command. Now from here down to there, this section here is the same in both commands, but from here down, they change. So the first thing we're doing is seeing if we're in the camera mode. If we are, we execute the camera switch command, puts us back into the normal view. We then check to see if we're in the turret mode. If we are, we press the turret button, takes us out of that mode. We then want to make sure that we're not looking at the system map or something. We set a loop timer to zero. We now do a loop to see if the GUI focus is greater than four and if the loop timer is less than 30. If either of those are true, we add one to the loop timer, pause for a tenth of a second, and then continue. And this will give us a three second timeout as well. So maybe you've all tabbed out of the game and you've, you've given the command for some reason, it will just time out. So if the loop time is greater than or equals 30, we send the message to the log and we get the TTS to say the auto refueling timed out. And then we exit the command. At this point, this is where things change somewhat. We then execute the modules command, which we did in the panel tracking video. This will move us to the modules panel. We do the up key to make sure we're at the very top of the modules list. And now we need to cycle through the modules to find the fuel tank. We've done this in other videos, so I won't go through it in too much detail. But we set the mod loop value to zero. And we do a loop to check the module info variable does not equal fuel tank. So each time the loop cycles, it presses the down key once. We're then doing a check to see if we hit the end of the module length. If we have, we exit out of the, of the command. Because we know we've gone too far and we can't find the fuel tank. 
being currently looped by one, pause ever so briefly, and keep going round. If we pop into the game, what this doing is go to the modules tab, goes all the way to the top, and then it'll go down one each time, checking to see if it's found the fuel tank. And when it gets to the fuel tank there, it will continue the process. Go back to the command. Once it's found the fuel tank, it will select it, go down to the synthesis option. Now I always just go with basic. The the other two, yes, you get a longer fuel run, but for the resources it's using, it's not worth it in my opinion. And sulfur and phosphorus are so easy to get. Just just go with the basic. It then makes sure we're on the basic fuel, selects it, puts us back to the home position and looks forward so we can carry on. If I pop back into the game quick, so we'll go to the modules panel and then on the fuel one, you see we've got the basic, standard and premium. And all that code will do is make sure we're on the basic, it will then hit the refuel button, go back one, move us to there and make us look forward. The inventory command does it pretty much the same way, but there's a, as I say, there's a, a few slight differences. But again, at the beginning, everything from there to there is identical. It's just this bit here. We go to the inventory tab and we need to make sure we're in the top left position. And I'll show you that in a sec. We then need to go down to the synthesis option. Just do a loop for four times. We then go to the right hand side, make sure we're at the very top of the list and I've timed it for me, it's about two seconds. It may be different on your PC, but you can just adjust that as need be. And then we go down twice and we do the refueling the same as you did for the modules. Selecting the basic, hit the synthesis button, look back ahead. If we pop into the game again quick. Open inventory. We go to here and then we want to make sure we're at the top left so we're in a known start position. And then go down the bottom, go across one, down, we select it. And then from this point it's the same as with the modules. We make sure we're on basic and we hit the SRV and then we hit the refuel. I thought I was trying to get out of the SRV. Anyway, we go down to here, we select the SRV option there, we hit the refuel button and then it goes back one, puts us back to here and looks ahead. While we're in here, let's use the commands to refuel the SRV. Refuel SRV modules. That's that one working. We'll try the other one. Refuel the SRV inventory. They both work, but in slightly different ways, as you can see. I prefer the inventory one. It's a little cleaner on the code and it just works a little better, I think. I thought I'd show both versions because it might give you ideas of how you can do your own commands. And using these, you could do your own repair commands and rearm commands for the SRV. There's one other little thing that it can do. If we go back into the profile, when you hit 25% fuel, that triggers an alert in the game, which the plugin picks up on. And if I go into Oh, fuel, there we go. But in here is the one I was messing around with before. This checks to see if we have low fuel. What we're doing is if we're in the SRV and we're on low fuel, in here it's just using the module command, but you can just change that. Whichever version you pick, be it module inventory, 
you just obviously change the name of the command to not have module in it. So for example, now there. So you just have that, for example. I just use the module inventory bit on the end to show off the two commands. We go back into the fuel one. Are we in this RV? Yes. Is the fuel low? Yes. Do the auto refueling. If we're not in the SRV, we have to be in the ship. And then we have a message written to the log and a little voice warning saying, warning, fuel tank is low. Refuel now. And I've had it before when I'm driving the SRV in camera mode, looking for exobiologicals, and it's got 25% fuel. It's taken me out of the camera mode, refueled me, and I can carry on driving. It's also handy if you leave yourself AFK without thinking about it. So there you go. There's a couple of ways of refueling SRV and automating it as well. If you come up with other ways of using these commands, let me know below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Take care and toodles.